Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are wonderful. In the name of Jesus. Yes, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining newcomers, first timers. I welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. It is your time to move forward by faith and works. It is your time to take action and move. It is, the, it is your time to walk and forward in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is the time. It is the, our time. It is the time now that we need to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Any mountain in front of us, any roadblock in front of us, let it catch fire. I pray, Lord, let the Holy Spirit clear away, clear away, clear everything that you have to go forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Enemy that is making you to go backward, let it be destroyed. Enemy making you to go reverse, let it, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you. As we are going to the month of March, we are moving forward. We are marching to the month of March in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, uh, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome once again. As we know this is the end of the month. Today is the last day of the month of 2017 uh, February. Therefore, people of God, usually we, we welcome our month midnight. Today, midnight, 12 midnight, we are going to have a, a welcome month to jump the month of March. We are going to march to the month of March. So join us midnight tonight on Periscope, Babcon, Prayer Line Radio. Everything will be on. Even you stream, everything will be on, even Facebook. So because we want everybody to, to, to be happy and join the month of, of, of March. The month of March is a very powerful month because it's a month of three unity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we will see how much we are going to pray. And we will be praying the three days we are going to focus on prayer, serious prayer. We will be, as we are continue praying and fasting, we will finish Monday. Therefore, as we continue the three days from now onwards, we will have a lot of prayer. You might see me in a periscope, in the prayer line so many times because we, ha we, have, we want to accomplish three, 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 72 hours, three, three, three hours because it is a very important month that we are facing. That's why I want you to shout hallelujah, big hallelujah, I'm marching to march. I'm marching to march. I'm jumping to march. I'm moving forward to march in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm moving by fire, by, by force. I'm moving forward. I'm moving, I'm moving forward. Nothing will hold you. You are moving forward. Nothing will hold you. Nothing will hold you. Nothing will stop you. You will prosper. Nothing will make you poor. No powers of darkness will make you sad. You shall not cry. No hell of no no powers of hell will make you cry. You have to speak prophetically word into the enemy. Tell the enemy, I will not cry. No powers of darkness will make me to cry. I'm marching to 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 march. I'm marching to march. I'm going to make. We will be doing uh, uh, press and worship the tonight that we are going to celebrate a big celebration to march, and and you'll see. Uh, we are going to have our holy communion at the end of of seventy two hours. That will be go, will start today. Then we'll continue. At uh, tomorrow, it will continue from there. God will help you in Jesus' name. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. The topic is called, it is your time to move forward by faith and works. It is your time. This is your time. Say, this is my time to move. This is my time. It is your time, no matter what it is, no matter your circumstances around. Tell the enemy, it is my time to move forward by faith, by faith and by works. Because without work, 
without faith it is impossible even to please God himself so you go with the faith and the works Acts, go for it go for it jump with it in Jesus name let's look in the book of first Corinthians 2 6 to 15 first Corinthians 2 6 to 15 the Bible says among the mature however we speak a message of wisdom but not the wisdom of this age all the rulers of this age we are coming to nothing no we speak of the mysterious and hidden wisdom of god which has destiny for our glory before time began none of the rulers of this age understood it for if they if they had they could have they could have, have they could have not crucified the lord of glory later it is written no eyes has seen no ears has heard no heart has imagined what god has prepared for those who love him but god has revealed it to to us by spirit the spirit is such as all things even the deep things of god for who among men knows the thoughts of man except his own spirit within him so too much no one knows the thoughts of god except the spirit of god we have not received the spirit of the world but the spirit of of, of who is from god that we may understand what god has freely given us and this is what we speak not in words thoughts as by human wisdom but in words taught by the spirit expressing spiritual thoughts in spiritual words the natural man does not accept the things that comes from the spirit of god for they are foolishness to him and he can and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually designed the spiritual man charges all things but himself is not subject to anyone's judgment for who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. But we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. You know you have the mind of Christ. Not that. Go to that scripture and read it, medicate it, claim it. But you have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. The spiritual man judges things. But himself is not subject to anyone, anyone's judgment. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the minds of Christ. You, you see this? We have the mind of Christ. So that's why we need to move forward because we have the mind of Christ. Mind of Christ is the mind that move forward. We don't move backward in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to move forward. In the name of Jesus. You see, in verse 7 it says, No, we speak of the mysterious and hidden wisdom of God, which has destiny for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Yes, you see, this is what it is. No, we speak of the mysterious and hidden wisdom of god we speak in mysterious and hidden of wisdom of god god has hidden wisdom god has hidden wisdom so this wisdom is the wisdom that will move you forward it is the wisdom that will move you forward by faith and action it is a it is the mysterious wisdom that will make you somebody make you a, from zero to hero make you a hero it is a mysterious wisdom that will knock down the enemy and tell the enemy, I will not cry. I will not be sad. No sorrows will come into me. This is the, that is how you can move forward. If you are sad, you are crying, you are not moving forward. So by faith, you have to put a stop everything that will make you sad. By faith and works, as you take this scripture, you have to make anything make you solo, anything make you sad, anything make you cry to die in the name of Jesus. Anything, 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 money, your husband, your children, you are caught, and any false accusation, anything which at your workplace, 
Anything that will make you sad, will make you cry, let them die. You have to move forward. You know, when you are stagnant, you don't move forward. When you are in one place, you, 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 are, you are stuck. But tell the enemy, no matter, not even traffic, not even traffic jam, not even parking, they will not make you, they will not make you to move for, to move backward. You are moving forward. You need that favor of God to move you forward. Anything you are doing in your business, your business must make you to move forward. You must make profit. You must, your, your business must be a blessing. You are, you are, your job must be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. You have to move forward. That's why this scripture is saying, we speak of mysterious and hidden wisdom of God, which he destined for our glory. God has a destiny. God has a destiny for our glory. This is a destiny. This is mysterious destiny that God has. Your destiny is to move forward, not backward. Anything that would make you to move forward, let them die. Anything that would make you not to move forward, let them die. By faith, by, by action, you will move forward in Jesus' name. As this month is going to die, let them die with all their problem, with everything that is making you not to move forward in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. God, for God's desire to take you a prestard eye has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has ever has entered unto the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. The, it is God's desire. It is the heart of God. It is God's desire to take you places that your eyes have not seen. You have to move forward. You have to go places where nobody is allowed to go. You have to get that visa that has been denied for many, many, many years. You have to move forward. No human being will hold you. No witches and wizards. No cultic person. No uh, uh, voodoo. Priest, uh, uh, evil priest. Priest voodoo. That will hold you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is your time to move up. It is your time. You have to refuse. Because it is God's desire. People of God, it is the desire of God to take you to the places you have never, never entered, to move you to the high level, to promote you, to move you to the next level in Jesus' name. You have to be a very a a aggressive, very aggressive with these prayers. You need to move forward. You need promotion. You need to destroy every financial harassment, every financial embarrassment. Every month you cry, you, you are sad, you don't know what to do, you have to stop them. You tell them, I am moving forward. Enough is enough. I have to stand and move forward. I must start moving forward now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. We must have good works. That is, we must obey. We must obey and, and, and go by faith, by works in the mighty name of Jesus. It is God's desire to take you places that you, your eyes has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God had prepared for them that love him. You love God. So Jesus, he will move you forward in Jesus' name. In the book of, of Psalms 37, verse 3 to 5, the Bible says, the book of Psalms 37, that it, uh, first, that the seven, three to five, the Bible says, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him and he will do it. To move forward is to commit yourself, is to trust God. To move forward, hallelujah, to move forward by works and to move forward by faith and works, you have to trust the God of the God of the Bible. You must trust the God of the oh God of heaven. You must trust the Lord and do good. Do good. Do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Delight yourself. Hallelujah. Delight yourself. In the Lord, and he will give you the desire of your heart. He will give you the desire of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it to you. 
You, he will do it to you. He will make you to move forward. It cannot, you can't move forward if you are not taking an action. If you don't take good action, you, it cannot, you can't move. You will be remain there always. You will be sitting there remaining, uh, depending on pegging people, calling people, miserable, sad, feeling bitter. You will remain there like that. But if you take the action, action by pronouncing words against the enemy, action by declaring a war against the enemy, saying, as from today is my time to move forward. I'm not one to move backward. I've been sitting in one place for a long time. It is my time now to stand from my wheelchair, to walk by to, to, with my two feet. Delight to the Lord, and it will give you the desire of your heart. Your desire, the desire you have, it is what God is going to give you. That's what it will move you forward. That is what it will move you forward. If you don't have any desire, then you will remain, you will remain where you are. The, your desire is to get the best, is to have everything you want. That's God has said. He will give you the desire of your heart. What is your desire? What is the desire of your heart? Hallelujah, people of God. What is the desire of your heart? What is the desire of your heart? What do you want God to do for you? Sometimes people call me. Pray for me. When I ask them, what kind of prayer do you, are you looking for? What prayer do you want me to pray for you? When Jesus was asking the blind man, uh, Bartimaeo, son of Demaio, this blind man, when he went to Jesus, Jesus was looking at him. He saw him blind, but Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? It, it, it doesn't mean that Jesus did not see this man blind, but he wants a man to confess with his heart, with the faith and action. So when Jesus speaks the word, then the word will heal the person. But some people, they are so, so wounded, they are so doomed when they come to you, they, they, they feel like you are the one who has, has put that problem on them. They become rude and they, 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 they want you to you pray for me. I said, tell me what you want me to pray for you. They cannot be able to say what they want. Therefore, people of God, you must write down what you want. This, as we are going to enter the month of March, you have to write and, and tell God, this is what I want. This is the desire of my heart. I need this and this, God. You speak and by action and faith, you will get what you want in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Psalms 21, verse, verse 2 to 4. Psalms 21, verse 2 to 4. To move forward by fire. To move forward by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God is good. God is good. You have given him his heart's desire. And you have not withheld the request of his lips, Sarah. For you meet him with the blessings of good things. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. He has life for you. You give it to him. Length of days, forever and ever. Yes, to move forward, God has given you. To move forward, this is how you move forward. You have given him his heart's desire. God has given you your heart's desire to move you forward by faith and works. You have to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. And you have not withheld the request of his lips. God has not held anything. God has not refused. The, desire, the request of your lips, the request of your mouth, God has not refused. He has given you. You have to take action. You have to take faith. You have to go. You see, the Bible says, For you meet him with the blessings of good things. You set a crown of the fine gold on his head. He, he, he has, he has the life of you. You gave it to him. Rent of days and forever and ever. Amen. You see, God has given you rent of days, length of time that you have requested. God is good. So to move forward is to trust God and take action and faith as God already has given you everything you want. He has even crowned on fine gold and, and on your head. You, God has, 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 has set a crown of, of fine gold on your head. You have, you have no idea that you have 
cut it, you are cutting a crown of gold in your head. You have everything. You have gold in your hands like this, but you don't know. You, you because you don't know. That's why you, you are sad. You are remaining there, but you are moving forward by fire. You are moving forward by fire. You are moving forward by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every, every, every gold, every fine gold on your head must be activated. Must be activated because you have already the gold in your hands. You have the gold on your head. You must activate it by fire, by thunder, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you, Father. In the book of Matthew, Matthew 7, verse 8. The book of Matthew 7, verse 8. The Bible says, For everyone who asks, receive, receives. He who seeks, finds it. And to him who knocks, the door will be open. The door will be open. You see? To move forward by faith and works, you have to ask, you have to knock, you have to go for it. It will not come while you are sitting like this. You have to go and ask, you have to take action, you have to ask. The Bible says, ask, you will receive it. Seek, you will find it. Uh, knock, the door will be open. Knock the door. Knock the door. Go to the door of heaven and knock the door of heaven like this. God, I'm knocking you. I am here. I'm standing. Lord, my father, I need to move forward. I need to move forward by fire, by faith. I am here with all of faith and, and, and works. Here I am, God. I must move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. It is my time to move forward. I am in one place for a long time. Lord, I want to see your justice. I want to see who you are. I want to move forward, God. You ask, you will get it. You knock, it, the door will be open for you. You, you who see, When you seek, you will find him. The Bible says, seek me while you will find me. Seek him, you will find him. It's not far. It's not on the mountain. It's not on anywhere. It is it's within you. God is within you. Just open your mouth and seek and ask him. And then you tell him, God, I am now. It is my time. To move forward by fire, by thunder, in the mighty name of Jesus. God will be very happy for you. God wants somebody like that. Not somebody who is uh, high, uh, hot tempered, who is so uh, bitter. Somebody who is uh, easily, easily uh, offended. He doesn't have time to seek God. He's so judgmental. He's charging people. He doesn't have time when people are receiving blessings with the person. He's just picking words to, to use against the person. You can't get nothing good will come for you. I've seen people like that. When people are getting blessings, when you give, especially when you give, you feel bad. You 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 think of it. You feel so bad, and you you give it when you are crying, and you think God is a child. You can't bribe God. If you are giving, will be zero. God will not re recognize. If you are such a type like that, forget. Don't even give because you are giving. God will not recognize. That's why many of you, God does not recognize you are giving. You even if you give everything, the Bible says, even if you sacrifice yourself. If you don't love, have love, nothing will happen to you. Many people, they have no love. They don't love. They, don't, they have no love. Physical love and spiritual love. They lie. They can, they can love. <laughs> and they will show you that they are obedient, but they are not. They are animals. They are a green snake in the grass. They are, they are the one with the, with the, uh, the skin, God, sheep's skin, but inside they are wolves. We have wolves like that. But now... Our God is God. When you are serious, you, don't, you, don't, you are not interested in all those things I've said. You want to move forward. For sure, God will move you forward. But if you are a person who does not, who, who your work is to take pen and record and write negative, 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 only negative, you just ask again. You go to gossip, gossip. Now, God does not have such a time for such a people. You, you welcome your master, the enemy, the devil, and it will come and torment you. That's why you nothing, you, you pray to nothing, God, nothing is working for you. Because you are very negative. People like that, they are wasting their time. But God wants people who are ready to move forward, who are ready to jump, who are ready to find by action, by faith. That is what God is looking for. Look at the story of Jacob. You know, Jacob was a very aggressive for everything. He grabbed, he doesn't waste the time. 
If he has seen things, he will go for it. He didn't have time to gossip, time to fight, time to do what? It, it was all the time risking. He go for it. He go for it. He go for it. And then God of Jacob appeared. And that's why we have God of Jacob. Even when he, he, he met the angel, he was very aggressive with the angel. He said, I, you, you are the angel and you want to go without blessing me? No way. Let me die in your hands, but I have to acquire the blessings for my children. Children. People like that, they don't have time. They don't have time to gossip and, and cry and sit down and mourn and beat and, and, and be, be feel bad for themselves, calling names. So you don't have such a time. You want to move forward. You want to jump to the month of the new month and you have to, to grab the blessings. This is the time the heaven is going to happen, exactly midnight. In your time, I don't know your time, but our time, the, the, the heaven is going to open and you will have the blessings. You will grab that the blessings like the way Jacob grabbed the blessings and he got it. After seven hours fighting with the angel, therefore people of God, seek, knock, the door will be open for you. It is up to you. If you don't seek, you don't knock, then you can't move forward in Jesus' name. So let's, let's look at another scripture from the book of Job 22, verse 26. The Bible says, For then you will delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. You Then you will delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God to move forward. You have to lift up your face to heaven. You have to speak to heaven. That's when you can move forward by faith. You know all is about faith and work. You have to open your mouth and lift your, your face to God. You will, you will take a delight in the Almighty. He will, will, he will, he will call on God at all times. Let's look at the book of, of Job 27 verse 10. Will he take a delight in the Almighty? Will he call on God at all times? Oh yes, you have to call God all times. Look at Job 22, 26 and Job 27, 10. That is the message. Job 22, 26, it says, For then you will delight in the Almighty God Almight, and lift up your face to God. You lift up the face to God. And then verse 10, 27, 10 says, Would he take delight in the Almight? Would he call on God at all times? Yes, it, you can call God at all times. No, no, time of, no time for God. God is there and he wants to bless you, to open heaven for you and bless you and to make you to move forward by fire in Jesus' name. In the book of, uh, in the book of uh, Psalms 21 verse 2, the book of Psalms 21 verse 2, the Bible says, You have given him his heart's desire and you have not withheld the request of his lips. So God has given you the, 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 your, heart, your heart's desire and he has not held the request of your lips. So when you open your lips, when you start talking to God, he will give you the desire of your heart. That's why I said before tonight, you have to prepare the list, the, the desire, what you want the desire, what you want God to move you forward. What do you want you to move you forward in Jesus' name? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's look at another scripture from the book of uh, Psalms 81 verse 10. The Bible says, I, the Lord, I am your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wildly and I will feel it. Yes, open your mouth wildly. Open your mouth wildly and I will feel it. God will feel you words. God will feel you. He will feel you, you to move you forward. If you have opened your mouth wild and God will fill you, you can move mountain, you can move forward by faith, by fire, by thunder, by what? Nothing will stop you. Because when you are filled with the word of God, with fire, you command the enemy. You the enemy, hear the word of God, hear me well. You will not make me to be sad. In environmental witchcraft, every arrows of environmental witchcraft fired into my life, fired into my body, at night while I was sleeping, go back and destroy your sender. Go back and destroy your, your, your owner. Go back to the sender. That's how you, you when you are filled with the, with the mouth, when God has filled you with the mouth, let me tell you, you can fire that it will come, it will consume your enemies. 
especially wicked people who comes tonight to torture you, to molest you while you are sleeping and they go. Those bad dreams, when God has filled with you, you have the words to speak. That's how you can move forward. You can't move forward while the enemy has been molesting you, has been torturing you throughout the night. You are even scared. You can't move forward. You can't move forward. But when you wake up, then you find that the enemy was torturing you, was molesting you, was damaging you in the dream. You stand up because you are filled with words. You command them to die, destroy them, reverse it, send them back to the sender. Command them, they will not prosper. You dreams, wherever you are, you will not prosper in my life. I destroy you. I set you fire. I am moving forward. No matter what it is, I'm moving forward. No matter what you are, what you are trying to do to me, I'm moving forward by fire, by thunder in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me, powers of darkness. Listen to me, devil. You just address him like that. You command them because you are filled with the word of God. You open world, your mouth. The word of God will come. Dup, dup, dup. You don't have to struggle. You will have words to stay the enemy. You will speak. You will know how to speak to the enemy. And the word says it will be accomplished in Jesus' name. In Psalms 145, verse 19, the Bible says, He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He will also hear their cry and he will save them. Yes, God will hear your cry. God will hear you. He will give, he will fulfill the desire of your heart. And those who love him, if you don't love God, there's nothing you can do. People pretend they love God, but they are so angry, they are tempered, they are so evil, and they are, they are, they are, they are, they are operating in, in evil's darkness. They are immoral, they are immorality, they are corrupted, they are, they are so wicked. And yet they say they love God, but they don't love God, they lie. They are a hypocrisy. They pretend, but if you love God, you love God with all of your heart. The Bible says he will fulfill the desire of those who, those who, those who fear him. He will also hear their cry and he will save them. He will, God will hear. That's why God is always remember his people. When the, the children of Israel sinned and they humbled themselves, they cried to God. And God hear their cry. He saved them. He came to them. He moved them forward. He told them. He sent Moses quickly, quickly Moses, go to, to Egypt and, 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 and bring my children who are suffering there in the hands of Pharaoh. And the children of Israel were waiting for Moses. And Moses went there uh, with the Pharaoh to Pharaoh. Pharaoh tried everything to keep the children of Israel, but it was not so. Because the children of Israel, they feared God and they cried to God and God heard them and answered them. So if you fear the Lord Almighty, your father, he will give you the desire of your heart and he will move you forward by fire in Jesus' name. He will hear your cry. That's why you don't have to be to allow the enemy to make you sad, to cry because of what he has done to you. You have to refuse by all means in Jesus' name. In the book of Isaiah 58, Isaiah 58 verse 14, the Bible says, Then you will take delight in the Lord and I will make you a ride of the heights of the heart. And I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The mouth of the Lord has spoken in the name of Jesus. Then you will take the right. Take the right. Move forward, my dear friends. Take the right of, in the Lord. And I will make you ride on the heights of the heart. You will fly. You will be moved. When you move forward, nothing, nothing, nothing will stop you. No doors that will be closed for you. No job that will be denied on you. No anything that you put your hand will be a prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, I thank you, God. I bless God. I give you glory and honor because you are a God. You are a God. Then the Bible says, I will feed you with the inheritance of Jacob, your father. For the mouth of the Lord has said, the mouth of God has said, not Christine, not, not anybody, the mouth of God has said, now, Apostle James said, What do thee eat, prophet, my, bro my brother? Through a man says he had faith and has not works. Can faith save him? No. James 2, verse 14. 
If you can't take action, you don't want to move forward. Faith cannot save you. You have to take faith with action and work. If you, you can have faith, you put the faith in your pocket, you don't have to use it, you don't have to do anything with it, it cannot work for you. Faith needs action. Faith needs work. It is one thing it can work for you. People have faith, but without action, without works, it's dead. That's what the Bible says. Mr. Brother, Brother James continues saying in, in, in James 2, 15 to 17, If a brother or a sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warned and fulfilled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what do it benefit? Even so faith, it if it had not works, is dead being alone. So th th this is what James said. James said we have to do something. We have to do that. Our sister, one of her sister, she had a problem. And she needed help straight away. So the prayer and faith cannot do anything. So what we did, we take faith, prayer, and action. Immediately we will help the sister. Because she needed help immediately. She needed that help. And also I appreciate for you who gave their donation towards her, 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 her needs. So we need to, to do that. If one of you, as our team, our, our, who are following us, she really, honestly, as have a problem, what do we do? We have to go. We don't have to pray and live like that. We will pray, action, faith. It is one, it, that's what God wants. People of God, we, we, we cannot do that and then we accept to move forward. We can move forward with action and faith and, and, and action. That's how God wants us to do. You know, one time I was in need. Seriously. I was, I was in need and I went to this pastor and the pastor looked at me and said, uh, let's pray God will provide a way. So thank you. The pastor he has everything that he could help me physically, spiritually, financially. He could have, I'm a minister. So if a minister said, my brother, I have been attacked in this area. Can you please stand with me? Yes, I will stand with you, but I need to do action and faith. So that is how it works. Some people, they need some action and faith to work. Yes, we do pray. We do pray, but we need to do Something which you call works, faith, and action. It is when it, it can move you forward. James did, and God inspired him to do it. Those who teach us that there are no works required for salvation can eat their own heart. Their works or eat still, they are dead wrong. In order for our faith to be effective, we must have good works. That is, we must obey in the name of Jesus. For this prayer to be effective, you must begin with chilling and repenting. That is, if you have been involved in any sinful life style, you must be sorry and be sincerely willing to allow God to change your life in Jesus' name. Yes, you know, we are going to pray. And when we, we know that we have been wrongly been doing wicked than God, we have to ask God to forgive us. We have to, to ask to repent, genuinely repentant, and ask God, God, I've been putting my faith in my pocket without doing, without using it. For all this time, I want to move forward. I am now releasing my faith in action and faith. Go and open your mouth and do something. Pray and action and do everything you can do to your hand to move forward. The Bible says, if you, if you, if you regard iniquity in your heart, the Lord will not hear you. So, if you have something in your heart, the Lord will not hear you. So you can't move forward. You have to repent and, and, and move forward. Don't remain there. Stop negative. Stop judgmental. Stop criticizing people. Stop marking people and, become, and, and you, be, you become to, to become hunger. Stop remember the past. The past has gone. New has come. That's why 
as we are going to jump to the new month, we have to forget everything past. The enemy will try to remind you and it makes you bitter. It makes you feel bad. It makes you angry and angry when you remember the past, what has happened, what your pastor did to you, what your friends did to you. You feel so angry. It has gone. Move forward. Forget about the past. Move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 28, 13, the Bible said, He that covered his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever, whosoever, whosoever whoso, so confessed and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So if you, you cover your sins, you will not prosper. You will not move forward. If you cover your sins, you pretend that you are holy, there is nothing. You cannot move forward. That is the truth. Now, if, if you confess them and forsake them, you shall have mercy. God of mercy is here. He will help you because he needs you to be sorry and move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I am going to pray for you. If you can kneel down wherever you are, what you are doing, just humble yourself and, and, and let God take over. And let God help you and let move you forward in Jesus name. Wherever you do now, you have to be. This is a very dangerous time that it is your time to move forward. God is going to move you forward by fire, by action, by, by faith in Jesus name. The Lord Jesus, you say the Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for the way I've been leading my life. I confess before you that I am a sinner. Please have mercy upon me. Forgive me and cleanse me with all your precious blood. Brought out my transgression and remove my guilty, O oh Lord, that I may receive with godly sincerity and holiness. And you lift up your hands and you start worshiping God. You pray that, Lord, I forgive for, for I, I, I am forgiven from, from, Lord, I forgive from the bottomness of my heart anyone and anyone you have mentioned, anyone. Now you release people in your life. You release people that you are holding. You need to forgive them. You, you need to release people from your bottomness of your heart. That, that God will work for you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. You release them. You release them. You say, any bitterness, anything that I've done, I have now. You can mention, you know some people, they have hurt you. Some people they have done wrong things that you don't like, but it is your time to release them so that you can move forward. These people you are holding, they can hold you back. You can't move forward if you are holding somebody. This is your time. It is your time to move forward. It is your time to release those people in your, in, in, in your life that is holding you. You need to move forward. And God will have mass on you in Jesus' name. Yes, present your body as a living sacrifice to you, to you, to God, to consecrate and sanctify you in, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God is able in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I want to give all the glory, God. Now you destroy every covenant. You destroy anything that will stand against you that will make you not to move forward. You command them to be destroyed. You are moving forward. You say that any covenant, anything the enemy has covenanted, any vow the enemy has vowed against my life that I cannot move forward, I destroy them. I come against them. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. You are announced and unfruitive works of darkness of your family and ancestors. You declare them that you, are, you have no fellowship with them, with the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. You have to say, I have nothing to do with you, ancestors, with your unfaithful works of my family. I have nothing. I must move forward. I have been in backward for a long time. It is my time to move forward by fire, by thunder, by faith, by works in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you command every spirit of this, every, every spirit of disfavor to get out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You command you spirit of disfavor, get out of my life in Jesus' name. I'm moving forward. Therefore, every spirit of disfavor, spirit that always disfavor me, spirit that always disfavor me, I am destroying you. I command you to give away, give way, give way. I'm moving forward. You you command that spirit of disfavor. You disfavor, give away, give away. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Give away. You tell the demons everything that is standing on your way. Give way. I'm moving forward now. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. You destroy the yoke of setback. 
from your life. You command every yoke of setback. I destroy you. I command you to get out of my life. Leave me in the name of Jesus. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. You, you know, you talk to them by faith and action. You are taking action. You command, you command every, you command, you, you, you are renounced and destroy and reject any, any covenant made with you, with the devil and idols by any of your parents or grandparents. You command them, hear the word of God. You grandparents, you my parents, my grandparents, my, my, my fathers, hear the word of God. I destroy and they announce any covenant you made. I am not your candidate. I don't belong to you. You are dead. And death does not have the, anything to do with the living. Leave me alone. I'm jumping. I'm going forward. I'm moving forward. Get away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. You talk to them and you command, you teach them to the, to the dust in, the, in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, now you take the authority from the water, from the sea, from the rivers, from the trees, from the sky, from the moon, from the stars, from the from the sun. You take the dominion. I take dominion and over you. You command them, you call them by fire. You call them by name. And you command them to, in the name of Jesus, I am moving forward. Leave me, leave me anything programmed in you to make me go backward. I am now addressing you. Leave me. I'm moving forward in Jesus' name. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you, are, you address the enemy, the devil. You, you say, you devil, I am now addressing you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Stop following me. Stop blocking my ways. I'm moving forward by fire, by thunder in the mighty name of Jesus. I am speaking you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Get away my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, you have to declare that you that the righteous of God created in Jesus' name. Therefore, Satan, sin, and setback have no power over you in Jesus' name. You, you have to talk. You have to take action by faith in Jesus' name. This is the day. This is the day you move forward. You refuse to come under any family curses in Jesus' name. This is the day you move forward. You have refused to move backward. You have refused to be to, to be to be to be to be in a stagnant. You have refused to stay in the box. You have to move. This is the day. This is your hour. This is your time to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. I want to thank you. I want to thank God. I bless God. I give you God, God glory and honor that we have to move forward by fire, by thunder, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. I have to stop here. God bless you. God bless you. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. Please continue moving forward. Don't let the enemy to make you to move backward. Don't let the enemy to, to hold you, to hold your blessings. You have to move forward. Continue reviewing these videos and confess those scriptures. It is the power of God to give you the desire of your heart. Nothing that you have done anything good, but it is God who has said and he will do it. He will do it because he has said and he is ready to do it. Remember to knock, seek, you will find in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. I love you so much. There is nothing I can do about it. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi saying bye-bye. Once again, if this ministry is blessing you, for sure, you, you have been blessed with this ministry. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca and donate an amount. I Give me an offering in the name of Jesus. I will pray for you and God will bless you. You can also go to our, uh, you can also email me, overcomersdhm at gmail.com. I, uh, and you can reach us if you want to organize how to give through Western Union Monogram. Please call us this number. Our number is 905-792-3798. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Bye.